Have you ever thought that we may run out of food one day? Sadly, yes. With the current agricultural production system and a projected population of 10 billion by 2050, we may run out of food. But no worries. Scientists came up with an innovative technology that not just feed hungry stomach, but also produce crops in a short span of time that can defend against insects and diseases and also that can be produced in a small piece of land. And the technology is speed breeding. To understand how it works, let's go on a speed tour at my house. Basically, the technology plays with light and temperature. The light quality is optimized, the light intensity adjusted and based on the crop, the day length is altered. And yes, the temperature is also adjusted. Interesting, right? Now let's see how it is applied in the scientific world. Right now, I'm at the speed breeding trial at the University of Queensland, Australia. Actually, the speed breeding concept was inspired by NASA's efforts to grow plants in space in an enclosed chamber with an extended photo period. As you can see, there are a lot of LEDs attached here to optimize the photo period of the plant. Photo period, to put it in simple words, is the relative length of light and dark periods that a plant needs for proper growth. So with the aid of these supplementary lights, the plant growth is altered. With the help of this one, the plants achieve an eye efficiency like how we use the daylight time in summer to work for more hours. Along with this, the temperature is also optimized to mimic the natural conditions and for an increased plant growth. Okay, for whom this technology is actually used? To answer this, we have one of the speed persons behind this project. Lee? <laughs> That's very high speed! Okay, Lee, tell me to for whom this project is actually for. Is it for the farmers or for the astronauts to use this? So the speed breeding is really a technology for plant breeders uh, okay. to develop uh, you know, more robust, productive crops uh, faster for our farmers. Okay, so by having the robust and high yielding crops sooner, farmers get may have the access to good quality crops in a short span. That's right, right because traditional plant breeding is very slow. It takes 10 years or more uh, for some okay. crops. That's it. Okay. We're talking about reducing the time frame down to basically like reducing and compressing the time scale and having quick access for good crops. Yeah. Okay. And do you have any catch that we may use this technology in Mars one day? Maybe, maybe, uh, but for now I think um, you know, it, it's pretty well suited to speeding up crop breeding. Um, and, and look, the way it works is really about um, you know, optimizing uh, light and temperature um, to accelerate plant development. And so rapidly cycling. Okay guys, so let's see what this goes to bring us next. In the current climate, the agriculture industry is facing a lot of problems such as new piston diseases that are resistant to pesticides, increasing level of temperature, altering level of carbon dioxide and other such climatic factors. This being the fact, we need a robust, high performing crop variety that can overcome all these challenges. Though we can achieve this through traditional plant breeding methods, it would take more than a decade by the time the entire crop system would be vanished. Which is why speed becomes the need of the heart. As Lee said, by optimizing the light and temperature, we can speed up the plant growth cycle. Along with that, advancements in artificial intelligence system would enable us to select parents that can give better progenies, eliminating the need for intense selection process. By growing such elite parents in a speed breeding trail, we can come up with progenies in a short span of time. When such progenies are gene sequenced and analyzed through special algorithms, they can predict their performance in field level. This again eliminates the need for intense field testing processes. By this way, we are going to reduce the entire time frame for releasing a better variety. So speed breeding seems to be a promising technology, not just that everyone are getting good quality food in a short span of time, but also it ensures that everyone goes to bed without hunger. Also, if you have any plans to go to Mars one day, you may be having food that's produced through speed breeding. Who knows? Time is the answer. Get ready for the future.